Hello, greetings everybody, and welcome to Wolfinia. This is episode 273 of my Minecraft survival series, and in the last episode, we made a major addition to the Waterside District with this tower right here. A lot of work went into this. Let's go a little bit closer, give you guys a good look at it real quick, take it in, because uh, today, we're going to build another tower right here. Same type of deal. That's right. Doing it all over again for some reason. Now, I mean, at least we can keep our pre-building prep down to a minimum since we know everything we're going to need. We got it all together already. We are good to go. I also have a pretty good idea of how long it's going to take us to build it, which is pretty much all my filming time because I believe this is currently the tallest structure in Wolfinia. So why not make two of them over the course of two episodes back to back, right? You know, it's whatever. It's what I feel like doing, so we're going to do it. It is too late to talk me out of it. It's getting done. So, at this point, let's go ahead and call the drone on over here, put on some music, and get to work.
Welcome back, everybody. The second of our dual spires is now complete. Who boy. Look at these big boys over here at the center of the Waterside District. Let's go ahead and uh, stop over here real quick and just have a peek at them. Just take it all in, breathe it all in, be glad it's done. I am glad this is finally done. Now, uh, we're not really going to go and have an in-depth look at this because we built one last episode. You guys know what it looks like. You saw me building it during the time lapse. But what I do want to do is uh, go and just have a peek at it from different areas around our city and just kind of see how it changes things. So, from over here, ooh, look at that. That is a nice, strong centerpiece to suit the center of our city, I think. Taller than the Wolfen's Laboratory Tower. Yeah, I think uh, I think Mr. Wolfens is going to be pretty happy with this. I know I am. Now, believe it or not, this was actually not a project I was really looking forward to. I mean, necessary for the city, right? Wanted to get it done, but, you know, we got the outline in a long time ago, and it's been a while since I've touched it, because it's a lot of work. Now, between finishing off this tower and having to clean up all my mess here, uh, I don't have a whole lot of time left to film this episode, but I do want to get something else done. And that something else is going to be over here in the Waterside District. Just give me a moment to get myself together here, and then I'll tell you all about it. All right, so what I want to talk about now are our Beacon Fountains. Now, the Beacon Fountains were, you know, an old uh, addition here to Wolfinia. One I don't think we need anymore. You'll notice the Beacons, the Fountains are no longer flowing because... I want to do something else with our beacons. Wolfinia is a city powered by beacons. You will notice that we have beacons all around, providing power to all the different districts, providing me power throughout Wolfinia. So I'm thinking, like, having them, instead of be fountains, where the power flows from, we have them be like, you know, little mini power plants, where the power flows from. Like little mini power towers, if you will. Now, I don't mean towers like this. Don't let this fool you. I know we built one tower today and it was huge. These towers aren't going to be huge because we don't have a whole lot of space where some of these are going to go. We do need to maintain a reasonable size for them. Um, and I'm thinking we also need to maintain some cohesion with the city as well. Uh, so what I was thinking as far as cohesion goes, uh, one thing we have throughout the city is our walls. Now, we have a specific block palette that we use for our walls, and I'm thinking we could probably do the power towers in this same block palette. Perhaps. I don't want it to look too stony, though. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with it. All right. I think at this point, I got a pretty good idea of what I want it to look like. And I think as far as building these go, we're just going to focus on this one right now, since this is close to the storage system, in case I need to do any back and forth here to get new blocks, change out the block palette and whatnot. Um, otherwise, you know, I would do it somewhere probably less conspicuous. I think this will be fine. You know, I think we're going to incorporate soul lighting into this build. Soul lighting was something we'd reserve for the enchantry before to represent the magics there. We haven't had any of it here in Wolfinia. They've kept the magics back where it belongs. But I think now that Wolfen's laboratory is in control of the enchantry and control of the magics, we can use it for our own more benevolent purposes. All right, yeah. I mean, I got some ideas at this point. I got a few possible designs in mind. I think at this point it's time to start trying to figure this out. So, uh, let's go ahead and call the drone on over here. Put on a little bit of music. Build some power towers. Or one. We'll build one power tower. That's all I have time for.
Welcome back, everybody. We now have the first of our power towers built here in the Waterside District. Overall, I think I do like the design of it. I like the shape of it. I'm not too crazy about the block palette. Like, it does go with everything we have going on here in the city. Uh, but... You know, I, I don't I don't know that's actually representative of what I want these power towers to be. That's something I'm going to give a little bit more thought and consideration to. But, I mean, overall, I like the idea. It's kind of like combining the fountain and power tower idea. Think of the water, the fountain, as like its cooling system. Uh, but these things also have purpose. They not only provide us with beacon power throughout the city, but also provide me with a villager safe entrance in case I want to get in here, work on anything, or if I want to gain access to the lower areas of our city in case I want to do anything way down here beneath the surface, which I do currently, um, if I can remember where exactly I need to, to go. I want to put in another beacon here, but I forgot which side it needs to go on, so just give me a minute. Now, as far as the beacon effects I want to use, I'm thinking a little bit of regeneration and a little bit of resistance, both of which are useful in building here in the city. Probably the most useful buffs I have left to choose from anyway. Uh, so when we're up there and we're building and jumping around and all that nonsense, you know, if I fall down with the resistance, I won't hurt my tootsies. And in case I do hurt my tootsies, well, then we got the regeneration that's going to make my tootsies feel instantly better. Ow. That'll also probably help with that, with hitting my face on stuff. But yeah, I think that's our first fully completed beacon here in Wolfinia. We got all three beacon buffs going. We got all three colors shooting up into the sky. I like it. This is uh, this is good. This is good progress. Really good progress for the Waterside District in this episode. Well, you know what? I was tempted to leave it at that. I was tempted to call the episode there, but I'm not for two reasons. Number one. Um, I said I wasn't satisfied with the block palette. I want to experiment with copper to see if that makes me a little bit happier. Uh, but in addition to that, the episode was too short, so we're going to go a little bit longer. Now, just to get a feel for the copper, just to see if it's going to suit my taste a little bit better, I uh, just did this one side right here, and I just want to have a look at it and kind of visualize before I do any unnecessary work. And I think, yes, I think I do actually like that. Crap! Breaking everything. Stupid haste beacon. Um, unfortunately, we aren't going to be able to do the walls and stuff in copper. We don't have access to copper walls, which would be uh, nice for this, I guess. But, uh, you know, we'll roll with it. Actually, you know what we do have? We do have prismarine walls. Let me go my prismarine walls right here. Because the prismarine walls might work, uh, depending on how they look with the copper right here. Like, once it starts to weather and stuff, that might... That might work. Worth a try, anyway. Yeah, you know, we're gonna roll with this for now, and we're gonna give the... We're gonna leave it alone after this and give the copper time to weather and oxidize and whatnot, and then, uh, you know, depending on whether or not it looks good, We'll maybe wax it up and then call it a day after that, but that won't be in this episode, because as I said, we need to give it some time to do that. Now, this does not really go with the original idea of keeping it kind of cohesive with the walls and whatnot, but I don't really care. Crap. I have made an error. I have flooded my foundations here. That's, that's fine. You guys are never going to see this anyway. All right. I think that should be good. I think we are done here, so let's go ahead and have a peek at this from afar, see what we think of it. Um, I think, overall, I think I do like it. I think I do prefer that over what we had here previously. So yeah, we're going to leave this alone for a little bit, give the copper some time to weather. I'll replace those andesite walls I left up there, uh, and then we'll, you know, wax it up and finalize it if we like it. But that's where we're going to have to call it for now, because I need to get this done. So, we made some big progress in the Waterside District today. I am very happy with it, but that's what we're going to have to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more of Wolfinia, please remember to subscribe. But as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed your stay in Wolfinia. And I will see you guys later.